-hmm. Well, it said music soothes the soul, but how about broken hearts? Choir members from several San Antonio churches and schools have traveled to some of the victims' funerals. Tonight, you're going to meet some of those singers. So you're not going to see or even hear their performances because our cameras haven't been invited to the funerals, but the singers shared their experiences with the night team's John Paul Barajas. It just brought me to tears. It's the toughest job these women say they've ever had. It's surreal. I mean, especially when you do a lot of funerals, you know, we're seasoned. And then you realize this, this, how different this one is. They're among the singers from roughly 10 San Antonio churches and schools who have performed at funerals of several Uvalde victims. Today, they performed Wind Beneath My Wings for Rob Elementary teacher Ava Mireles. It was a really special. I'm very proud to have honored the family's request. They're devastated. The town, the city is devastated. The choir made its first appearance at the Healing Mass last month with President Joe Biden in attendance. Since then, they've performed at three funerals, including services for Amory Joe Garza, Jose Flores Jr., and today's services for Mireles. The Rob Elementary teachers and staff were there in their school shirts. And I, I just kept thinking to myself, how many funerals have they been? How many times have they worn that shirt? Each service brought a wave of emotions, heartbreak for the families and the Uvalde community. But the women say they're honored to help them heal with the power of music. When you sing, you pray twice. Um, and there's, there is something magical about music. To be able to bring a modicum of comfort or peace to, to someone is, is it's, it's overwhelming. John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News.